Hello, free body family. Got SI joint issues, weakness in the hip, maybe a deep ache or pain in your sacrum. Let's talk about that coming up. So if you have any SI joint dysfunction, radiating pain along or aching along the sacrum, maybe up into the low back, maybe some weakness in the hip like you could do your tree pose and yoga on the right leg, but the left leg you're not really sure. Or if you have sacral pain, like your sacrum just aches, this muscle, gluteus medius, is often the culprit. So pain referral playlist, pain referral patterns, understanding trigger points and why sacral pain and other kinds of pain don't come from where you're feeling the pain. So, so many people have um, SI joint or sacroiliac joint dysfunction, maybe some aching in the low back, across the tops of the hips, weakness in the hips, all those things are related to the gluteus medius and its best friend gluteus minimus. Now I just did a video on gluteus minimus. If you didn't see that, we'll drop a link in the description so that you can check it out. Gluteus medius is a large muscle on the outside of your pelvis around the hips on both sides. Gluteus medius lifts the legs out to the sides, it pulls the pelvis down toward the femur, and it's one of the two muscles that I call the rotator cuff of the hip. Those two muscles are gluteus medius and its mini-me version, gluteus minimus. The gluteus medius muscle is a big player in leg length inequality. So if you've been told by one of your healthcare practitioners, oh, your right leg is a little bit short, maybe, it actually takes pretty extensive um, x-rays to really be able to tell if the bones are actually one side is shorter than the other. The gluteus medius has a strong pull on the pelvis, so it can pull one side of the pelvis down and effectively push the other side up, which is gonna give you what appears to be a leg length inequality. People who come to me with SI joint dysfunction, I'm always going to check, do they have one hip higher than the other? Often the symptoms that they're experiencing are on the high hip side where the muscles going ah oh, help it's being overstretched maybe because the other side the other glute min and glute med are contracting strongly and pulling that opposite hip down pushing the other one up and freaking it out gluteus medius is a stabilizer of the hip joint or the rotator cuff of the hip and so these symptoms might get aggravated with hiking, with um, walking, long walks. It might initially feel better, but then over time it's gonna get worse. Many of the cyclists and people who ride horses that I work with have these symptoms. And one of the reasons they have these symptoms is that the muscles that oppose gluteus medius and gluteus minimus that pull the legs towards each other, which is how you steer a bike or a horse, those muscles get over tight or even people who cross their legs all the time. Um, and that gluteus medius is going to get pulled on both sides and get aggravated. So if you are wondering how to get rid of that SI joint dysfunction for good, you're gonna have to do some releasing in the gluteus medius. And again, you're really gonna wanna know if one hip is higher than the other and notice if your symptoms are on that high hip side. Often they are, not always, but often they are. Another muscle to consider is the quadratus lumborum in the lower back. Quadratus lumborum goes from the top rim of the pelvis up to the lowest rib gluteus medius goes from the top rim of the pelvis down to the femur. So QL's pulling the hip up, glute med is pulling the hip down. What's stuck in the middle is the sacroiliac joint. And it's kind of pu getting pulled in that tug of war between the quadratus lumborum and the glute med. So the next video I'm gonna do is all about quadratus lumborum because that's a big player in a lot of issues but it's something that you're gonna to want to just kind of look at and know 
that it might be also a player in your SI joint dysfunction, hip weakness. Glutamine can also cause a little bit of an aching in your buttocks. Definitely it's best friend glutamine can cause an ache in the buttocks. So you'll want to do some release on both of those. But again, often starting with the opposite hip or often starting by releasing the inner thigh on the same side will get you really far. So glute med is often our culprit with SI joint dysfunction, hip weakness, because it's trying to stabilize the hip. And trigger points exhaust muscles. They use a lot of resources. So when you have a lot of trigger points, that muscle is exhausted, it can't do its job, it can't stabilize the femur and the hip, you go to put your full weight on that side and the hip kind of gives out. 100% you've got glute med, glute min issues. So I trust that you found this video to be helpful. Understanding your pain is a key element of this channel. Here at Freebody, we want to help you understand the body, understand pain, and give you a path to freedom. So I'm Kat Matlock. We're gonna link below the how to release that gluteus medius. And again, see if one hip is higher than the other. We'll link that video in the description below. And then work in the muscles around this area also for the best benefit. Give a, give a like, subscribe, send this to a friend who's got SI joint dysfunction, and I'll see you in the next video.